यू नो पीपल थिंक कि एक्टिंग बहुत आसान चीज है लाइक like जो एक्टर्स होते हैं उनको सब आसानी से मिल जाता है दे लिव दिस रिच ही रिच लाइफ बस क्या ही करना है एक्टिंग ही तो करना है राइट बट पीपल यूजली डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड एंड रियलाइज कि कितना एफर्ट एंड कितना एनर्जी इमोशनली एंड मेंटली जाता है टू बिकम दैट लेवल ऑफ सक्सेसफुल क्रेजी मेथड एक्टर या जो भी बोलेंगे देखो एक्टिंग का सिंपल फंडा है कोई भी कैरेक्टर आपको आया हो तो अब एक ये औरत है ब्रोकन हाउस से है एंड शी वॉज इमोशनली एंड मेंटली अब्यूज और वट एक कैरेक्टर इमेजनली कैरेक्टर अपन अभी आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग दिस अप एज वी टॉक एंड दिस रोल कम्स टू मी एंड सो आई हैव टू सिट डाउन एंड एक्चुअली थिंक अबाउट हु शी इज वॉट शी वॉन्ट्स वॉट्स हर एंड गो लाइक उसका कैरेक्टर कहाँ जाएगा is she deserving of the ending that she gets and like i have to keep reinventing that in myself to really understand what she is going through and matlab i have to step in that role imagine this person ki yahi main hu it is so much of hard work and it is not genuinely that easy and probably that's why a lot of actors feel so much emotion the unka emotional range bahut zyada up and down hota hai and they vary a lot i am talking about right now uh, ranveer singh um, the talk of the hour the superstar in the bollywood industry he did this incredible incredible spread naked spread photo shoot with paper magazine and uh, just you guys just the article so article is by aishwarya subramanyam and ek usne i think there was a quote that she uh, that he mentioned to her i I'll, i'll i'll read it out to you guys it's so easy for me to be physically naked but in some of my performances i've been damn fucking naked you can see my fucking soul how naked is that that's basically that's being actually naked i can be naked in front of thousand people i don't give a shit it's just that they get uncomfortable which is you know kind of partially true when i when i when i saw the picture i like he is as a human i always say this he is a goddamn beautiful loud human i love i love how gender fluid clothing he has and like he shops from the men's as well as the women's closet i've always been a preacher that you know clothes don't have gender and you can wear whatever you feel like that expresses you the best and uh cross dressing has never been you know uh, a new concept sab log theek hai kar rahe theek hai i'm fine i'm fine with that just as long as you're doing what you're doing and you're loving it and you're living it jitna matlab jitna main bol saku utna kam hai you live only once we've seen this happen and uh, life is short so What's up, you guys? Welcome to Kai Pan Aditi. I am Aditi. We are talking about Ranveer Singh and this paper magazine spread he recently did, where he shot, uh, where he was shot naked, basically. And um, you know, there there was a lot of talks around, you know, how sexy or how attractive or like just lusting, thirsty, thirsty people out there on the internet, and. Um, talking about the thirst you know i i saw the picture they were pretty nice like they were like he looked like a marble statue carved out like beautiful handsome but i'm not attracted i don't know what it is about you know having abs or not having abs like i absolutely appreciate how much they take care of their uh physical health because also they have this like 20 20 30 hour ke lit- literally shoot shooting hours hote hain unke aise crazy ki agar aap physically fit nahi ho to aap sustaining nahi kar paoge itna zyada energy lagta hai uh dance ke liye ya char logo se baat karne ke liye ya just acting ke liye bhi and to be emotionally as well invested in it you got to be physically fit like kahin pe to you have to draw a line and fitness matters a lot 
even for Ranveer, even for the Pika, I love them both. I appreciate what they're doing. The industry have boomed, and I love every single Sanjay Leela Bansali movie they've done. Like, wow, wow, wow. Like, but just we are talking about thirst here. I was not thirsty, so this is on me. Like, I, I was not in any way sexually attracted. I don't know. I was not comfortable. I was not that. I feel like okay, ठीक है कि यह है lot of people do beautiful, great uh, nude shoots, and I'm okay with even Ranveer doing it. I think it was more about am I even attracted to men at this point? Men with abs, like is that what I'm looking for in an ideal candidate? Like I don't, I don't know. Like genuinely, I don't know. I, I. I'm questioning at this point. I'm questioning my sexuality. I'll put this out there. That's all I will say. But um, I I had a chance to catch up with this show, Coffee with Karan, and the first episode was with Ranveer Singh and Alia Bhatt Kapoor, and I I actually you know really loved the the interview. Like the interview was great, but it's just to get to know Ranveer a little bit more. I really loved that like you can see his personality coming out and like i think if we all were like hi and we like i think he would be like hi back the same energy jaisa energy doge waisa energy milega type he is that kind of person and i feel like we would all vibe with him if we sit down and just have a conversation as i would um but just yeah i think he just seems a little bit approachable more approachable uh and friendly that's that's the first like that that's what i felt after watching ofi with karan uh i've not ever seen any of his interviews before so i don't know but he's he's been unapologetically himself and that is what i absolutely absolutely love about him he does not give a fuck about how he dresses he dresses for himself and it makes him happy matlab he looks good but also matlab as soon as he puts it on the confidence is next level and when you have that confidence na samne wala koi bhi kitna bhi kuch bhi bole it will not affect him because he knows he loves it and he has that swag and yeah he cheese everybody we should be taking away ki as long as you are comfortable and you are confident in who you are and what you're wearing i you should not give a shit about you know what other people think or say and that's what i absolutely love about him when we are saying love love him like just this article in itself well thought out well written all right on to the next uh, topic i was <laughs> i wanted to talk about <laughs> okay i'm going to stop giggling i want to talk about push presence okay push present so aap bachcha push karte ho aapke uterus se to uska present milta hai basically so it's it's kind of an american tradition if you give birth your partner needs to give you like an extravagant ish present i don't know uh, aisa kuch hai concept push present ka um apparently my friend who recently delivered a baby girl um she was gifted a porsche by her husband and i was pehle to in shock wow la what like i see i i was aware i was absolutely aware about what push present is and then i started comparing myself yes i went down that lane i started comparing my journey of how um uh, how much money i do not have like how filthy that she is that she could afford that her husband who is an iit and by the way who works in like a you know mnc based out in silicon valley mein kaam karta hai wo and he's boat load rich and he is gifting his wife a porsche and i'm like here thinking what that's crazy like my cheap ass is like wowza like that's like i don't know 250000 dollars right there that could have been an freaking pretty 
easy investment in SIP and mutual fund and expanding your portfolio or, or just buying a real estate or land. I don't know. Even gold, for God's sake, gold, $250,000 ka gold. Could you imagine how much gold that is? That's a lot of gold. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of gold. And I was like, you know what? Maybe. So I don't know. I, I think I don't want a kid for myself. Like I don't, I don't want a bacha. बच्चा दूर से ही अच्छा दिखता है बच्चा मेरी बहन को है जो बहुत अच्छा है एंड आई आई थिंक आई जस्ट वॉन्ट अ बी दैट कूल फन आंट हु कैन ऑलवेज एंड अप गिफ्टिंग स्टफ लाइक आई लव आई लव गिफ्टिंग आई लव गिफ्टिंग लाइक इफ आई हैव इवन मोर मनी आई कीप गिफ्टिंग एंड गिफ्टिंग एंड लाइक एज मच एज आई कैन गिव आई वॉन्ट अ गिव एंड शी इज द वन एंड ओनली वन क्वीन प्रिंसेस सो या आई हैव अ नीस if you all were not aware um so anyways back to push present um that's such a weird concept like that's such a weird concept and so i was like okay so that's not happening for me like i i don't want it to happen for me so what kind of present should i you know use abuse matlab kya bolenge nikalwa you know kisi se bhi and then i was like Hmm. Aditi, maybe you don't have a partner. That means technically, I am a virgin. Technically, you know, I've not done it yet. So maybe I could like get a uh, virginity present. Yeah, I mean, push present, virginity present. <laughs> Does it make any sense? <laughs> well, you when when you are thirty, you can buy stuff for yourself because you've been smart and you've been saving and you've been investing all your twenties and you've been chick at all your twenties and uh, well yeah you at this point i i'm turning 30 by the way next year not this year i turn already 29 in april um, next year i'm turning 30 and i can afford to get myself something nice yeah yeah apparently you can do that when you're 30 because you have a stable income coming along and for the for those for those like two people who think how have you gone actively without having sex for this long and not having a partner like how how does that work out well here's an honest answer for you you get used to it you get used to it also maybe i might have intimacy issues i'm working on that i'm working on that <laughs> all right last time uh, i was not able to talk about this book but we are going to this time around somebody actually slid into my dm on instagram hey by the way i have instagram it's at aditi he 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 with a triple h i h i h i okay <laughs> after aditi so uh, somebody slid into my dm and she was like how we we see you loving this book so much uh the book in question is how to not die alone why do you not talk about it more on your podcast and i did not even like think about it because i'm not a book reviewer but uh she could relate to a lot of things i was saying and it's all it always helps when i give you real life examples of what i've gone through like something or the other stories nikalti hai and i was like that's okay i i could do that i i can try i can try okay so This book is called How to Not Die Alone by Logan Yudi The Surprising Science That Will Help You Find Love So if you're single if you're actively looking to date if you are already dating if you are on dating apps if you have recently turned single whatever it is whatever it could be or if you're in an arranged marriage or you're already looking for a partner uh i think this is and you're struggling i am struggling and this is the book you need to read like genuinely just just to understand like how the partnership works and how to even approach and how to change your mindset and everything so now i'll i'll start from the start this book i came across on ali abdul's youtube वीडियो पॉडकास्ट जहाँ पे वो टू आवर दो दो ढाई घंटे का एपिसोड है वो जो वो लोगन यूरी के साथ उसने रिकॉर्ड किया है एंड आई एब्सोल्युटली लव दैट टू आवर्स लाइक आई आई होल्ड डेडिकेटेड दैट टू टू एंड हाफ आवर्स वाचिंग दैट मतलब ऐसा भी है कि सिंस दैट वाज लाइक अ पॉडकास्ट फॉर आई कुड जस्ट लिसन टू इट इन द बैकग्राउंड बट इट वॉज सो 
good the content was genuinely very rich and that is how i came across even this book how to not die alone so ali abdul basically shares his experience ki wo date pe gaya tha kisi ke sath now he's 28 and he's looking to settle down like blah 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 whatever uh, when he went on a date he came across matlab jiske sath wo gaya tha wo ladki usko aise recommend ki ki tu ye book kyun nahi padhta main ye book pad rahi hu how to not die alone and that is how even ali came across this book and hota ye hai ki basically i don't take advices from people who are nothing and who have not done anything matlab basically aap finance ki advice unhi se lunge na jinhone actually kuch ghanta ukhada hai like they they are financially stable enough to for you to even take advice from them right so it's the same with this logan yuri kon hai kya hai basically wo um she's a scientist that's all i will say a psych psych psychologist a scientist therapist डेटिंग कोच अब बन गई है वो डेटिंग कोच वो बहुत टाइम तक वो गूगल में काम कर रही थी एंड नाउ शी इज डायरेक्टर डायरेक्टर ऑफ डेटिंग डेटिंग साइंसेस समथिंग लाइक दैट कुछ पोजीशन है उसका एट दिस डेटिंग ऐप कॉल हिंज द ऐप दैट इज डाउनलोडेड टू गेट डिलीटेड समथिंग उसका टैग लाइन है आई डोंट नो हिंज डज नॉट बॉन्ग वर्क इन इंडिया लाइक आई ट्राइड मल्टीपल डेटिंग ऐप्स hinge does not work like then there not a lot of people like i love the concept of like answering so many questions but i think there are more people on bumble than they are on hinge which understandable first move women makes totally totally get that so i wanted to today share with you okay so by the way uh, this other lady asked me why is the book so expensive what should i do so book is i got the book for like 121261 that's 1261 ish uh as pass and um i would rather say it, it was worth every every rupee i spent and so if you are not sure if you want to commit to itna zyada paisa behind a 400 500 page ki book then uh, start with the podcast i think podcast is quite adequate enough to understand uh ki uska book ka material kya hoga and then decide if you really want to invest um yeah it it is expensive i will no doubt for sure it is expensive and uh, i would highly recommend you to check out all of her podcast jitne bhi logo ke sath usne guest appearance kiye hai youtube pe just go through them i will talk about like i'll quote a few things from the book i think that uh, makes sense to me and um it will also for the people who are thinking of buying it i think it will help out those two um okay so main kuch chapter 6 pe thi uske key key takeaways pad rahi hu attachment theory is a popular framework for understanding relationships pretty basic okay uh you may be anxiously attached if you crave a lot of closeness but are insecure about your relationship's future and your partner's interest in you so i got into thinking who am i anxiously attached to see that's the thing like i i don't want to bash people who i have in my life and i don't like i don't think i can share a lot here but i do struggle so okay i'll continue you may be avoidantly attached if you feel uncomfortable with intimacy and value independence over connection so i have been avoidantly attached this is genuinely me avoidantly attached as well as a maximizer so uh, i'll talk more on that phir likha hai you may be securely attached if you are comfortable with intimacy spending time alone and drawing clear boundaries that's great third point hai securely attached folks make up 50% of the population but not the dating pool since they tend to get into relationships and stay in them anxiously attached and avoidant avoidantly attached people often date each other reinforcing their worse tendencies and this is why you should go seek a ther- therapist and just talk it out talk it out and talk about challenges talk about how to get better at it this book does help um फिर फोर्थ पॉइंट है इफ यू आर एंक्शियसली अटैच्ड और अवॉइडेंटली अटैच्ड यू कैन हेल्प योर सेल्फ डेवलप बेटर रिलेशनशिप स्किल्स बाय लुकिंग फॉर अ सिक्योर पार्टनर एंड लर्निंग टू सेल्फ रेगुलेट 
managing disruptive impulses and emotions basically that so we are all looking for an emotionally stable and financially wealthy um, <laughs> candidate partner uh, so ye jo 50% hai wo dating pool mein hai hi nahi jo dating pool mein hai wo hai anxiously attached or avoidantly attached basically um they they matlab ye pura ek chapter dedicated hai okay so this is called attachment style in a relationship and i think i genuinely think people who are maximum people who are getting in an arranged marriage are going through this attachment style issues and she talks a lot about it like a lot about it and in fact i have booked a therapy session with my therapist by the way i i would strongly recommend you guys to check out this resource uh my company currently sponsors this resources to all of the employees and um it's the website called yourdost.com and i absolutely love it you get to chat you get to speak you get to do a video call with any of the therapists there and uh i have booked one recently and i will be talking more about attachment theory and at- attachment style between humans and between partners and even she talks about you know how formative years of your life like when you are toddler to aapka relationship aapke parents ke sath kaisa raha hai and how you know it kind of have affected multiple areas of your life not only just that but like also who you hang out with and all that crazy right right <laughs> uh there was another like article uh she was talking about that i found so interesting like there's such like nit nit tit bits and very nifty articles very like smart clean well well researched articles and there was this one called genetics so basically uska bolna hai swiss biological researcher klaus explored this in his famous t-shirt study he collected dna samples from male and female students to capture their smell he instructed male students to wear the same cotton t-shirt for two nights and to avoid smell producing activities like sex then he asked female students to smell six t-shirts three from genetically similar men and three from genetically dissimilar ones and rate each one based on intensity pleasantness and sexiness he found women who preferred the smell of men whose genes were more dissimilar from their from theirs that's that's so interesting like he found women preferred the smell preferred the smell of those specific men jinka genes unse alag tha so कोइन फिर उसका ऐसा भी बोलना है कोइंसिडेंटली द इफेक्ट रिवर्सेस फॉर वुमेन ऑन ओरल ओरल बर्थ कंट्रोल यस यू हर्ड दैट राइट थिंग्स कैन गेट ऑकवर्ड व्हेन अ कपल मैरीज द वुमेन गोस ऑफ बर्थ कंट्रोल एंड सडनली शी इज अट्रैक्टेड टू डिफरेंट पीपल व्हाट दैट्स इनसेन व्हाट लाइक जस्ट जस्ट व्हाट लाइक कितना मतलब ठीक है बच्चा नहीं करना है तो आप बर्थ कंट्रोल मतलब कितना दिस सो मच गोइंग ऑन इन अ फीमेल ह्यूमन बॉडी मतलब दिस ओनली सो मच अ फीमेल कैन टेक दिस इज बियॉन्ड नेक्स्ट लेवल बियॉन्ड इमेजिनेबल मतलब व्हाट व्हाट क्रेजी देर वॉज सो देर वॉज अना सो दिस इज वेयर another chapter comes in and she talks about you think you know what you want but you're wrong how to avoid the pitfalls of online dating so this is for somebody like me who's been swiping left and right at this point and now it seems just like a game i do not even take it seriously i say hi to everybody and that's that like यू से क्या ही होना है मैं कहा मैं कहा आई एम लाइक मैं कहा उनसे मिलने वाली हूँ एंड लाइक आई एम बेस्ड आउट मे लव नो वे जंगल में एंड सो आई एम लाइक ओके यू नो फक इट लेट्स लेट्स सेंड एवरीबडी मैसेजेस बट यू नो आई नेवर सेंड एनी काइंड ऑफ ल्यूड 
uh, cheap short kind of message is very oh shirtless pic bhej or oh you know you do this oh you do that or something like i've never like i've always been such a nice human like nice been like average human like i know what is good and i know what is bad and i've never done anything bad which makes my life boring okay yes okay <laughs> um so about this this um chapter right so she said uh she found the author logan yuri how did she find her partner and they recently got married and all that so she was talking about scott jo uska partner hai to uska aise bolna ki i once swiped left on scott on tinder and i was like what so she keeps going like why did i reject this person someone i'm just reading the a passage someone who has made me very happy when i saw him online how did i come to such a inaccurate conclusion about him i thought i knew what i wanted and what would make me happy in a long term relationship and i believed i could accurately evaluate someone based on a few photos right so page ne pala try ek second <laughs> so she's okay here it is um i was ra- i was wrong on both counts i'm not only i'm not the only one prone to these kind of errors many of my clients have everything going on for them great personalities friends hobbies and so on but remain perpetually single why they're dating wrong it's not their fault it's not yours we can often blame it on the apps ah you see so yes these apps are also very smart like they won't show you if you if you're genuinely looking they won't show you who actually swiped right on you especially for bumble so there's a section called as heart section at the bottom heart section is where it shows the people who have swiped right on you and when you are swiping left and right on your normal feed they won't even show you those people can you believe that like 90% of the times they won't show you the people matlab they will always have this 15 20 people reserved ki are premium jao premium jao madam premium jao to hi hum aapko acha ladka denge to hi hum aapko acha la partner de I see no offense I love I have a love hate relationship with Bumble in general that's I think that's pretty normal that's I think pretty normal I'm just I just can't wait to just delete the app that's that's all I will say I just can't wait to delete the app I am sick of um uh, putting so much effort like everything takes so much effort like no hate against any dating app they're doing matlab everybody is in business uh and love is has kind of been commercialized and become a business you know that's fine i'm okay i'm okay with all of that i think it's just it takes a lot of effort to know a person a lot a lot of effort to know a person and nothing is sticking at this point for me and so maybe i am the problem here and not the person hence for th- the therapy and you know talking to more people um yeah oh here i've written what she does her job is the director of relationship science at hinge so there we go you can look her up before you decide if you even want to uh read the content but the content is so goddamn rich i absolutely love it love her she looks cute logan looks cute all right on to some lighter topic Okay so I just I'm going to talk about this web series that I saw and I absolutely loved it. Like loved it to a point where I could not stop watching it until I was done. And what is the best part about it that it was not released this year it was released in 2021. That means there is still a chance ki naya season aayega ye saal mein and I'm super happy about that. The show is called by the way it was It's a HBO show but it's also available on Amazon Prime Videos. Woohoo. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to stop. Um the show is called The Sex Lives of College Girls and I it was love at first sight. I loved it. Pehle to it was directed produced by Mindy Kaling. Mindy Kaling I think uski writer author writer author <laughs> writer script writer bhi hogi for sure. Ye uska show hai. Mindy Kaling ka show hai ye and um i loved i just i just loved the show way 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 more than never have i ever 
i don't know if you all if you all are aware about that show on netflix but yeah i so much so much better so much better so much better like every single character so they are like bunch of four people coming together college mein milte hai unko room milta hai do room mein ek apartment do room char log share karte hai and they fall in love they fall out of love yes 10% of his sexual content nudity heads up for that but just it's just how show is supposed to be right like it's it's exactly i think how college life looks like like that's the closest thing you will come across it for sure but then yeah there are some really unrealistic one unrealistic um storyline as well one of the characters but yeah aisa bahut kuch hua bhi hai i've seen it happen i've hung out with a lot of college students i've seen it happen as well ki how fucked up college is in general but yaar i loved it i love the entertainment part of it i just I think you all want to check this out. I love Chick Flick and this was one of the good ones out there. It's on Amazon Prime videos. Yeah. Just when I think yaar ki kuch nahi hoga yaar ye bhi hafte baat karne ke liye and then there is another one. There is another one. There is another thing happening and you know just mm. I've also been uh, watching a lot of uh, Tweak India ka content this is uh, Twinkle Khanna ka YouTube page Tweak India T W E A K Tweak India and she was interviewing Sushmita Sen and like a uh, lot of big named celebrities are on it and it's just a podcast podcast style interviews and i love it the long and you can just listen to it in the background and she does it so eloquently well like beautiful yeah that's all i have been consuming and all i have been i have come across this week uh, i hope you guys are having a fabulous bang in hot beautiful weekend week ahead whenever you're listening to this um make sure yeah you give this podcast five star seven stars <laughs> maybe leave a review i don't know um that's about it for kaipan aditi i'll see you next time bye